Our times of worship today will have a scripture preaching that will come from the book of Genesis. Ah, Montau ya kumano ama pemperuan sigulari rodu tiga na mau amina ujo kita buku la Genesis. After this book, we will back to the book of Acts that we have been following. Ndedi kata wele nga mbuku limende jiti mbuku jilaso kubuku la machitidwe limende tukuli sada. Genesis chapter 6 verse 8. Ndi mbuku la Genesis mbuku 6 limende ya 8. On Genesis chapter 6 verse 8 says, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Ndi mbuku limende tukuli kwa manoa anabe zao fulu kwa masu kwa Yehova. It's the only verse that we want to talk today, preaching Christ of the scriptures, about the man by the name Noah, founding grace in the eyes of the Lord. First of all, this book of Genesis was written by Moses and means beginning. Boyamba Dubuira Genesis and Genesis you are it is the beginning of the creation of the world, the beginning of man be created, the beginning of sinning. And it is the beginning, the same time of the salvation given to the sin of man. So we see that in the book of Genesis, it was good for it to be at the beginning of the book of the Holy Bible. And after God created the world, the earth, man was made in his own image with his wife, Eva. The man sinned against God. They continue bearing children and in the world, People must cry. Because on chapter 6, verse 1, it starts by saying, And it came to pass when men, men began to but cry on the face of the earth, our daughters were born unto them. Here is speaking about the multiplication, multiplication of the people in the world whereby daughters were born to the couples. And when these daughters were born, verse 2 says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, that is beautiful, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Here is speaking two groups of people, there is daughters of men, and there is sons of God. Don't forget that God told Adam and Eve that the day when you eat this, you will surely die. Because 
So when Adam and his wife eat, eat the fruit, they surely die. Ndiwa mwenye Adam undi inkazi wake anaje jibaso jo anafandi tu. Now the dead person is bearing daughters of him. Ndeno do mtu wa kufayo akuzibirikira wanaso. Here we are not expecting the daughters to have life because the seed that is bearing them is dead seed. Ndedu ababa siti kuyembe kizira sukuti ana akazobado wawo akuza ukala moyo ai chifambe we menena wabereka iyo ndi akufa Here the daughters are born from the dead person which means even the daughters were the dead one meaning the sick one Ababa pakuone kana akazio akubado akuchokera kuchotengera cha kufa zimene sukuti anthu azonda kuti ana obado wawo so na oso ndi okufa amene ndi ochimwa Now God is a living God. Ndiye mulungu ni mulungu wa moyo. His sons are living. Ndiwa na Yesu ndi a moyo. The sons from the living came down and marry the daughters from the dead. Ana muna mulungu wa moyo wo akutsika ndi kukakwatira ana akazi awantu amene ndi akufa. Now as we know that the son the child comes from the man come the origin or the origin of the child is from the man ndipo mongati dziwa kuti mwana atu amajokera kwa babu kumene iye amajokera kwa babu wake and the woman is just a container that hold the the fruit that is to come out ndipo tumzimaiyo ama kukhala chotengera chimene chimasunga chipaso chokuyembera kuti kuyembekezera nthayo ndi chikuluke that's why the, the real destiny of the child is from the origin that is a man ndi chifuwa chake tu zeni zeni zake za mwana obadwayo zimakhala zochokera kwa 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 babu wake that's why for example when a child is born is going to school whatever he is to be named his name or her name and the father's name not the mother's mm. name injindu chifaja ke ngakhale mziko la pansi muno mwana mataka badwa kaya kupita kusukuru kaya kuta kupita ku ama kale mbesa dzina la babu wake osati la mai wake my self are known by the name of the father of mine olo ineyo tuli madziwika ndi dzina la babu wanga I'm not here to call myself Nason Agnes because Agnes is the name of my mother. No, no, no. Ineyo tusiningazi itane ndeka kuti ndine Nason Agnes chifanele Agnes ndamai wanga ai. But I have to name myself called by the name of my father. Komando ndikufunika kuita ndi ndoneyo mudzina zina langa pa kuchula alomali zina lake khale la babu wanga. So the origin of me is the father who gave birth to me ndiye ndu ineyo kwathu kweni kweni ngwaba mbuwanga chifandwana ni bilinga what i want to just to come up with is this one chimene ndifuna ati ndi tanthauze apa ndi ichi the sons of god god is the living which means they are coming from the living god are coming and marry the daughters that are dead that are to die because god says once you eat this fruit you surely die ana mulungu amene mulungu yendo wa moyo ana bwera kukakwati ana anthu amene ndi akufa chifa mulungu anala nkhula kale kuchokera kwa makolo akuena kuti tsiku limene tu uzanye chipaso ichi chiwe uzafa nditu then the children that were born from this marriage were the people of god ndipo tusono ana obadwa kuchokera kubanja limene lili anali anthu onena kuti oyembekezera infa nditu because on the four says there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of god came in and to the daughters of men 
and they bear children of them to them the same the same because mighty men the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown Jifurundi media follow yani na budi patsiko la pasi banali anthu akulu akulu masiko mwe dipo so pambuyo bache ana muna mulungu atalowa kwana kazi anthu ndipo anabalira iwo ana amenewo ndio anthu amphamvu akaleka akale akale kale anthu onveka akamanena kuti amenewo kuti ana anthu ajawa na mulungu ana amuna mulungu aja so the sons of god give the uh, marriage the daughters of men that are the dead one and bear children that are uh, old and men of renown the sons of god marriage the daughters of men that are dead and give birth to the children that are uh, old and the men of renown ndetu ana amuna amulungu amene ndi amoyo anaka kwatira anaka zi anthu amene ndi akufa ndi ukabereka anthu akale kale amene akune nakuti akonekera mu verse yake ya follow yo kuti nakuti amene ndi anthu akale kale anthu ampamvu the question might be why bearing the renown men of renown and the old one kumano fusuri kozo manena kuti ndi chifura cha nana kabereka anthu awo akale kale ndi anthu ampavu because when they say that a man of renown and old it means even the mother of the children was was young to the children born to the to the cup jifukwa ro mena kunenera kuti anthu ndi ampamvu ndi akale kale zikutandaza kuti ngakhale amai wawo anthu ndi kuti anaisi akale kale was young than these children ndi kuti anali wango no kuposa ana wawo the daughter giving birth to the old and were known already child ndiye kuti ana awawa amene anali angono awa amakapereka anthu amene ndi akale kale anthu amphamvu so this was because the sons are coming from the living so the children are to be born giants men of renown and old ndebo ijinkifuwa jene nakuti ana awawa amakapadwa kwa babu wawo amene ndi akale kale babu wawo amene ndi amoyo ndipo ana opadwa awo amakapadwa kukhala odzika kale odzika bwino ndi thuko maso wa mphamvu verse 5 verse 5 says and god saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually ndipo verse ya 5 iyo kuti ndipo anaona yehova kuti kuipa kwa anthu kunali kwa kukulu padziko la pansi ndipo wonso kuti ndingalilo zonse za magani za mitima yao zinali zoipa zokhazokha here god is speaking now the appearance of the world now how the people were how the people are doing how the people are seen before ndiye noto apa mulungu wa kuyankula maonekedwa adzikwa amthawi imene hi mene anthu analiri mene anthu anachimwira mene anthu anakhalira oyi pamasopa mulungu because of this the seven says and the lord said i will destroy man whom i have created from the face of the earth both man and beast and the creeping thing and the falls of the air for it repeats me that i have made them njifaraza ke ndi mase vini kuti ndipo anati yehova ndi zafafaniza anthu amene ndawa lenga padziko la pansi anthu ndi nyama ndi zokwa wandi mbala meza mulenga lenga kuti ndi mva chisoni chifukwa anda panga izo god is omniscient omnipotent Mulungu ndi mulungu wato awamakhazikiso 
komaso mungu waje ambile muzindu zonse wa mpavu zonse komaso wa wa ojira zonse he is very omniscient and omnipotent god mungu yero ni mungu wa mpavu zonse komaso oziwira atu so he made it to be so to show his sovereignty ndiye no mungu yero anazipanga choncho kuti zikhale now the same god who created it is coming up with the mind to destroy it the whole world is sinful the whole world has done very evil before him he is having the plan to destroy it no one can reverse god to do whatever pleases him Zibolonse la nyasa zikolonse la onongeka pa masopa ake ndipo pali penso munthu amena koza kuchita ko chindu chabwe chokondoletsa mulungu This eight says but no found grace in the eyes of the Lord Ndipo nime ya eight kuti ko manowa anapesa ufulu pa masopa e hope Here when he says but no it doesn't mean that no did something good for it for him to obtain grace no ndeno ababa akamaka mba kuti ko manowa sisi kutanda uzatu kuti no ayo anachita ko kandukena ke kabwino kamene kana kakopa chisomo chokuti chibwere pa iye ayi here we see how the world is that it was totally evil before god aba kuti mene dziko lina lini kuti dziko lina loipa masopa mulungu and god wanted to destroy everything in the world ndipo kuti mulungu anafuna kuononga chinda chidi chonse mdziko la pansi but him so upon his prison he made a decision to save noah from the destruction koma ye mwini monga kuna nkomera anafuna kupulumusa noah kuchonongeko cho Here Noah is protected is saved from the destruction not because of the good thing that he does but because of what God purposes it before time Ndiye hapa no dikuona Noah akutetezedwa akusungidwa kuti chiono kichisa mufikire osa ati chifwa chonena kuti ana chita ko chifwa chabwino koma chifwa cha chifundo cha mungu chimena na chikura tu nthawi sana kale So when we are talking about grace in the eyes of God upon Noah we are trying to come up with that God had wrath in his heart but he preserved Noah not to be destroyed Ndendo ndikamala nkhula za chisomo pa maso pa mulungu zikutanda zozonela kuti mulungu yo ana msunga chabe Noah akoma majamo ake tu ana limbi nkwiyo ndipo mulungu anango mtetezera Noah kuti asamuononge but what makes god to bring grace is not something good in Noah but it's because of the mercy of god upon Noah Kumaro chimene china chitisa kuti mulungu amkirire chisomo noayo sikunena kuti mwana wayo kunale kandukena kake kabwino ayi koma kuti mulungu yekha anachita chifundo pa noayo because when we read in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 says chifwa tikamawerenga mbuku la Efeso mutu wa chiwiri wondi maeka ya folo ama nena so kuti he says but god who is rich in mercy for his great love where we he loved us koma mulungu wole mera chifundu chifwaja chikondi chacho cha chikulu chimenana dikonda nacho here is the first speaking about the mercy that was very rich abantu boyangu boyamba akufoto kozera za chifundu chimene china chole mera kwambiri the richness of the mercy is because there is love upon that person with the to receive grace ndiyo kulemera kwa chifundo kapena kuti kukula kwa chifundo kuchifanana kuti anali chikondi ndi kumene kuna chidisa kuti chisomo chibwere mercy is standing there because there is love in god to destroy the world 
Kusomo ucho chima emi ni lapa mene bobo kuti chika irane chikondi. Kifanyone na kuti bali nkwe wa mungu mena kufuna kuono nga ziko la pansi. God is very sovereign and he will destroy the unirect to hell. Mulungudu ndi mulungu wa ula kulilo wake nditu. Ndiwa yeyo au nunga antuo seo aoji mwa kukita kwa jono ngeko. So... The wrath that is in God behind it or opposite to it, there is a message that is very rich going to the erected people. You know, she won the Jamulu, John, she was the one who 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 was the one the message that is rich is there because. There is love among his people. Ndoto jifundo ya jikulu njole meracho, chinali ipo chifuajoni na kute parichiko, ndipa antuwa ito sankido. As we know that nobody can ask mercy from God or from somebody. Mwonga dizu wa kutu kulibetu mwona mwona koza kufusa jifundo kwa mwono kwa mwona kwa mwona kwa mwona. Mercy comes from within the one who is the owner of mercy. Ndipo jifundo ujo chimango joke la kwa hiyo mwini waga amene ndi mwini jifundo ujo. And one who is to receive mercy will receive it because the all of mercy has purposed it to give you or that person that mercy. Ndipo kwa hiyo mwini waga amene jifundo ujo jifundo ujo ako chila ndira jifanyone na kuti mwini wa jifundo ujo wakonzega kuchipereka kwa hiyo kapena kwa mutoba nkito jifundo ujo. But God never gives mercy to everybody. No, 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 no. He only gives mercy to those who he loves them. Yeah, my idea is to love me now. So only the loved ones are to receive the mercy that is very rich to spread God from lowering His love upon them. Ndipo rundi okawa ndo amene ndo amene okonde dao amene amala ndila jifundo kuti jikate teze nkwi wa mungu ba iwo. Now, when the mercy and the love is upon the irreks, the spirit says, if when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ by grace he are served. Ndieno, pamene pali jifundo, ndi jiko ndi ija mulungu, mpamene pa maoneka anu mundi mea faibu, mwagune na kulitinga kare tina lia kufa mzola kwa zatu, anadipa samwe pa mozi ndi kristu. He quickened us together. He quickened us together. Anadipa ukisa ife pa mozi. This doesn't mean that a man is to express his good works, his vision, his his dreams, whatever is, whatever. But God, because He pleased it to to give rich mercy and love upon that person, He quickened that person with Christ. Ndero agamani na wuna nadi pasi fimo yuba mo zindiye kuzibudana zonda kuti siku di banari kuyesa isagua muntu kagena dingariro yake kuda kari ni mo yu ai muntu yodo anari waku fanya zina tengerano mulo kumini wake yu. Kudia kampa semu yu mtu wakufayu mwa kilisi itu. So those who are quickened are saved by grace. Nibwa yu anana na pasibwa moyo huo anapulu musibwa ndiji somo. That's why verse 8 and 9 says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. Ndijifuwa jake ndi mea eiti yo, ikuwone sera kuti, pa kuti, mwere wakulu musibwa ndi jisomo jwa kuchita mwaji kulubili ilo. Ndipo iji ijosa yukela kwa inu uchi nifaso ya mulungu. Verse 8, it's by grace ye are served through faith. Mwende mea eiti mwone kera kuti, ndi jisomo jwa kajimene ni yoma kulu musibwa na jwa mwaji kulubili ilo. Ndijifuwa jake ndi mea eiti. So when they say through faith, it is not our faith. Our faith is very filthy, right? It's very filthy. 
but it's the faith of God that saved us. Nero agamani na kuti mwachi khulubiro sizi kutanda kuti chikhulubiro cha ife wa chikhulubiro cha ife kuti chonyasa chikhulubiro cha ife ndi sanza cha be kuma chikhulubiro cha mungu mwa ife because it continues by saying not of yourselves it is the gift of god chifuwa kupitiza kulankula kuti ichi chose chokera kwa inu chili mpaso ya mulungu again we never ask for a gift ndipo posto ambao neka kuti stima pe mphatu mphaso is the one who is to gift somebody is to gift him because it pleased the gifter to give the gift to the gifted iye ro kupereka mphaso yo sama pereka chifundwa kagamizidwa ai ama kupereka chifwachona kuti ntima wake basi kwa kondwera kuti apereke kwa iyo pe olandi olandi la mphaso yo So grace is the gift of God given freely to the gifted by his will according to how he it pleased him to. Ndipo momwemo chisomo ni mpaso imene imaperekedwa kwa munthu. Chifukwa cha iye amene wapeleka ayo monga makufuna kwake. What is grace? Nda chisomo nchiani This night is trying to come up with the good picture that it is not works grace is not works Ndime ana ni yoi ku ya ku ya honest la chithuzi thuzi cha mmene chisomo chidiri chifwa kulankula kuti ichi chose chokera ku nchito because works make somebody to boast Chifwa ku nchito ima chidisa kuti munthu azitama ndiri Now because salvation is a gift given from God The one who has been gifted with that gift it's because the gift are desired to give him that gift. Yero amene wa dalifika ni mpaso imene yoyo waira ndira chifacho lena kuti opelekayo anafuna basa na sinikiza ntima kuti aipeleke. So salvation is the gift of God. We never ask for gifts. I remember that preamble time before it pleased to God to open our eyes. We have been praying God enter into our hearts and make me to be your child. Today I want to be your child. It's like you are asking a gift. No it's not. This is so as we read into the book of Romans chapter 3 verse 23 24. Here we have a promise Verse 23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Kwa kuti wonse anachimwa na aperewera pa ulimero wa Mulungu. He is speaking the condition of the people that all sinned before God and fall short from the glory of God. Ndiye apa patu akulankula sopano za makhalidwe a munthu kunena kuti anthu wonse anachimwa na aperewera pa ulimero wa Mulungu. Now if it all sinned it means oh nobody good nobody lashes on earth Ndiye bo akamani na zonera kuti onse akutanthauza kuti kulibe munthu amena khozo kukhala solunga makamena na khala olunga mudziko la pansi Now because all has sinned all has fallen short of the glory of God Ndiye chifanyira na kuti onse ana chimwana aperewera pa ulemeri wa kulu Verse 23 says being justified freely that is gift without a good works by his grace it is that grace that justifies freely through the redemption redemption that is in Christ Jesus through the death of Jesus Christ njifala ke ndimaya 24 akuti ndipo ayesedwa olunga ma kwa ulere chimene tuchikoneka kuti ini mpaso chabe ndi chisomo cha ndi chisomo chache 
mwachi ombolo akamati ndi chisomo cha chende kuti chinthu chongo pereke ndo kwaiye kosagwirira kwa nchito mwachi ombolo cha mwa Kristu kusenza kuti kuomboledwa kuti mumwanzi wa Yesu Kristu we have been rejected by the blood of Jesus Christ alone ife kuti naomboledwa ndi chombolo cha mwanzi wa Yesu Kristu ekhabas again there is difference between me buying and redemption ndipo soto apa pali kusiana pakati pa kuombola ndi kugula we buy a new thing we redeem the thing that was first with you but has been taken and, and uh, put into the other hands under somebody's control but the owner came and paid the price to take it back to himself akabati tukugula ati makagula chinthu cha nyuwani pamene kuombola umakaombola chinthu chimene china lichako koma china tengedwa ndi munthu ina ndipo panafunika ntengo wake kuti wewe chibwerere manja mwako kuti uombole kumene kuti kuombola so when we say that god is our redemption it means first of all we were we, we were of him but the devil took took charge of us and was using us in whatever he can but when it pleased god he sent jesus christ to die on the cross pay his blood to redeem to take back his own to himself ndetu adikamani na kuti yesu ndiye muomboli wathu zimatanthauza kunena kuti boyamba ife dinali yake kale ndetu akamati kuwa kuti kamane na kuti Yesu Kristu ndiye muomboli wathu izi zimatanthauza kuti boyamba ife dinali yake kale ya Kristu yo ndiye no chifuwa cha chimo satana anati tenga anati landa anati kuatula mmalo mwake pamene pana kondwelesa mulungu anatuma mwana wake Yesu Kristu kuti akalipire mtengo wake kuti atiombole kuti bweziresa kumene dinali kuti dikhaleso wake mmanja mwake kumene kuti kuombola so this was the point speaking about the grace justifying freely by the redemption that is in Christ Jesus to the event only ndeno ndime ya 24 ikonesera kuti pali kuyesa da ulunga pamwe chisomo kumene kuti kwa ulele chisomo cho chimene china dipanga kuti pikakhale olunga misidwa ndi chisomo chake mwachi ombolo cha Christ Yesu yeka so because grace comes freely it's god who give grace to whom is to be gifted with that grace ndeji fanyana kuti chisomo cho cha ulele chimabwera kwa munthu amene mulungu mwino wake wafuna kumpasa chisomo cho so when the grace of god is upon a person that grace justifies that sinner ndiye munthu somo cha mulungu chikakhala pa munthu ndi chisomo cho chimene chima mulunga misa kuchosera ku majimo yake if the grace of god is not with you it means god has left you to yourself you can never experience the christ of the scriptures being revealed to you you can never see christ of the scriptures ngati kupaiwe kwatakhala kuti pali bebo chisomo izi zikutanthauza kunena kuti mulungu anakuleka asana kuchitire chisomo ndiye sunga athe kuchipeza chisomo cho tifaja bechongo welenga malemba ai freely grace the justification of the irate chisomo cha ulele chimeneso ndiye chilunga miso cha chimwa osankhidwa let us go back to the book of genesis chapter 6 verse 8 ndeno denti bwere ni mbuku la genesis mutu 6 wo ndime yake ya 80 it is says but noah found grace of the eyes of god koma noah anapeza ufulu pa maso pa yehova it means god gifted him with grace so that he should justify noah from his sins izi zikutanda uza kuti mulungu anampasa iye chisomo kuti chisomo cho chili mulunga ise ku majimo yake So it was that grace that justified Noah that protected Noah from the destruction that was coming up for the flood that were waiting. Ndiye ndochina ndi chisomo cho chimene china mulunga misa Noah ndi chisomo cho mwacho chimene china musunga Noah pankwiyo kapena pachonongeko chimene chikubwera mtsogolo mwake. 
Look how God sees the one who has been given with bless. The verse 9 says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation and walked with God. Mundimea na ina kuti hii ndio mibado mibado ya Noah ndi Noah anali munthu olunga ma ndi wangwiro mibado yake Noah anaenda bendi mulungu So here we see three things on Noah Ndebu ababa sobano tiwona zikuzitatu ba Noah The first thing we see Noah as a just man Oyamba tikumona Noah ayo munga kuntolungama. Where is justice coming from? Kuma kuti chirungamo chake chinachokera kuti. It's God who gave justice to those he purpose. Ndi mulungu ndo amena mapereka chirungamo chokaiwa amena yafuna. Wapa. Because when we read first Corinthians chapter 1 it states says Chifua tika mawerenga mbuku la 1 ya Korinto chapter 1 ndi meke ya 30 says but of him are ye in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us the wisdom and the righteousness and the special satisfaction and the redemption and me say that it go makwaye muli no mwa Christ Yesu amene ana esedwa kwa ife nzeru ya mulungu ndichirungamo ndichiyeretso ndichiombolo he is our redemption sanctification justification salvation yeyo tu ndiye chiombolo chathu chiyeretso chathu chirungamo chathu komaso chibulumuso chathu so because of the justice the justification that was in Jesus when God saw Jesus on us he see us being justified free without our good works or credulence ndelo kifuwa cha chirunga mo chimene chiri mwa Yesu Kristo mulungu yo akamona Yesu Kristo mwa ifeyo ifeyo ama tiona kukhala olunga ama zimene chinchokere kuda kwa ifo mawukulu kopanda nchito ya tu nalunga mitsomo mwa chisomo but it's it's Christ that is on us that is sin in the, in the eyes of god that makes us to be justified satisfied redempted salvation ndiye si feyo ai koma christ wokhala mwa ifeyo amene yoyo ndi amene ama dipanga ifeyo ukala uomboledwa ukala ulunga misidwa ukala opulumutsidwa so when we go back into the book of genesis chapter 6 it says that noah was a just man means christ was seen on noah ndeno tikabwelera mbuku la genesis chapter 6 ndimaya na ine omwe tikuyanga naicha tikuona bible tikuona kuti kuti ndipo noah anali olunga makusenza zonena kuti ndi Yesu Kristo amena maonekera pa Noah yo so Noah was the best man because God made it clear that the grace of God is to be upon Noah so that he should be just neno Noah yo anali olunga majipanyana kuti mulungu anapangira ati chisomo chikhale pa iye kuti yeyo akhale olunga mitsidwa it was that grace that is on verse 8 that makes Noah to be a just man ndipo ndi chisomo chimene china ikidwa pa noa yo chimene chikonekera mu verse 8 kuti ndipo noa anapeza ufuluba maso wa mulunga pena anapeza chisomo maso wa mulungu chimene chimampanga ye kukhala ulunga ama the second thing saying that he was a perfect man ndipo chinthu china so chomwe chikoneka pomwepo akunena kuti ndipo noa yo anali wa ngwiro As we know that there is nobody perfect in this world is only Jesus Christ who is perfect. Ndipo mwanga ndidziwa kuti kuli betu munthu wa ngwiro kutsiko la pansi koma ndi Yesu Yesu yekha amena ali wa ngwiro. 
Because the Bible says, all oh, have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So it was the perfection of God that he made the Bible to be perfect. Bible says he made the Bible to be perfect. Bible says God says it's only Jesus whom he is what a priest whom we are to obey because he's a perfect and just man. Because we are not perfect. The third thing is on the same chapter, verse 9, which says, Noah walked with God. Also, on our own, we can never manage to walk with God. We are very sinful. We have everything that is in us. This is very dark, very filthy, very, very sinful. But if the grace of God is upon us, it is that grace that upholds us to walk with God. Without the grace of God, nobody can walk with God. Because it's holy, we are very sinful. We are very blind, but he's holy and he's, he's, he's sovereign. So salvation comes from God. It comes salvation comes from God. It is not our good works that we did that makes us to be saved. No. But it is the gift of God that makes us to be saved. It is the gift of God that is the gift of God given freely to us. So, when it comes to the grace of God, it came upon Noah. Three things happened at once. That grace made Noah to be just. That grace made Noah to be perfect. That grace too makes Noah to walk with God. On our own, we can do nothing that can be preserved before God. Because we read in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 9, which says, not our good works, not our good doings, that makes us to be saved. It was a freely given grace that made us to be saved. So salvation is the gift of God. Grace is the gift of God. The one who has been saved, it's because God loved him and the, the rich mercy uh, upholds the wrath of God to prevent you from being destroyed by the wrath of God because he loved you. Where glory and honor to God.
Neno ule mgodi ndiku andi madama ndo zifuna zivide kuti it is only to Christ God Christ and Jesus Christ the crucified one the resurrected one is the glory to direct to Ndi kwa Kristo ye kapo amena kufuna kulandira ule Mose ndi madama ndo iye amena nazozidwa amena nasautsidwa nawo kwa kufa amene ndi amena yendera ulemu because of the sinfulness that was in the earth on the earth god made a decision to destroy the world but there is grace that was given to noah not because of his good works but because he purposed to save him from the condemnation and the damnation and the destruction ah uh, Chifungwa cha uchimone kera mdziko wa pansi mulungu anasimikiza kuononga dziko lonse la pansi koma atu chisomo chinapasidwa pa Noah ndipo chisomo cho ndi chimene china msunga ndi kumtetezera yeyo kuti asatsusidwe asakanidzidwe kapena asakhale ndicho muneneza May God help us see Christ of the scriptures the only hope of the elect Ambuya ndithandize kuona Kristo wa malemba akiyembe kuti tokhadu jawo sankhidwa. 